All right, so we're going to jump into this thing. Um, I had a really good month. This bar up above is not actually a representative of where we're at. It might be a little bit more, a little bit less. I'm not sure. But um, yeah, I had a really good month. February was bad, right? We finished, what, minus 2,000 or something like that. I think maybe plus 600 after ACR. And um, I didn't post a video of my February review stream because the file got corrupted. So just could post it on YouTube. But uh, we'll, we'll, I'll post this one. And, and basically what we had determined was we weren't sure if we were going to do Vegas anymore because uh, my good friend Patrick, Egyptian, he, uh, he's been hearing that Canadians are not being approved for refunds on the 30% withholding tax. Um, so for those of you guys who don't know, there's uh, a list of countries that... Um, if you are a citizen of that country and you go gamble in Vegas, um, if, I think if you make winnings over 1200 bucks, I thought it was 5000 but I, from what I've read, it looks like 1200 uh, you get taxed 30%. Um, generally speaking, the, the consensus was that was no big deal because you could hire a tax lawyer when you get back to Canada and they can file some paperwork for you. And if you have a decent um, record of your profits and losses, uh, you can get most of that 30% back, if, if, if not all of it. It was no big deal. But uh, Patrick's been hearing that it's been a pretty big nightmare, and a lot of players have not been approved. Um, so we kind of ended the review stream last month with a bit of a big question mark as to whether or not we want to continue um, doing this challenge and going to Vegas. Because if I'm going to go to Vegas and get charged 30% and not be able to get that back, it starts to become not as a lucrative endeavor, not as much of an exciting endeavor. You know, to win 100K would be amazing, but to have 30% chopped off like that. And then, you know, I'll probably sell to investors. So, you know, at the end of it, all of a sudden, instead of, you know, 70K, I'm, I get like 30K or something. It's just not, not as uh, tasty. You know, and then today, ironically enough, um, Patrick just uh, just told me that his um, withholding tax from his withholding refund from 2019 for a nice a nice chunk of change, about six figures, uh, was denied. So it just seems like jumping. You have to jump through a lot of hoops um, from what it sounded like. You needed uh, hard physical proof from the casinos as to what your profits and losses are in order to have that apply to your refund. And then that helps uh, get approval. Um, if you just have like your own personal paper trail of uh, wins, wins and losses, um, that's not acceptable, even though that's that used to be the case. Apparently it isn't anymore, or at least that's what his lawyer told him. And... Um, so, you know, the theory is that, like, I can get a, like, a record sheet from the casinos while I'm there and use that as a record and have that be a little bit legitimate. But here's the thing, right? Like, they want to see that you have losses that are equal to the amount that you have been charged. So, like, if I win $10,000 and they take 3000 I need to show that I've spent $3,000 in gambling cash uh which is just like <laughs> it's so lame like i have to go out of my way to lose money to get a refund on the money that's already mine I, it's a giant clusterfuck and so i've been trying to ask around post it on instagram post it on twitter asking people you know if they've heard anything you know one guy told me that he heard he hasn't heard anything bad and everybody's been fine um another guy told me about an itin um filing which sounds like that doesn't really from what i've read that doesn't really change much um it helps the process sure but it doesn't like further increase my odds of getting my my refund back so um all in all i just still haven't found an answer it's basically what this has come down to so i'm kind of at a at a fork in the road here of Still going to Vegas and taking a gamble on this whole withholding tax thing. Um, or skipping out on Vegas and just making a new goal.
maybe doing, I had mentioned this before, I'd mentioned this throughout the month as well on a stream, um, maybe doing uh, EPT uh, Barcelona instead. It's not nearly as cool, obviously, but, you know, making a trip to Europe. I've never been to Europe. And playing their main event and maybe a bunch of their side events, if they're good, would be fun. I do still want to see if I can make, you know, um, whatever this is, 12K or something before May is over. That'd be really nice. It's just to say I did it. And then um, start something new. I don't know if it'll be a challenge or or what. Something that I wouldn't mind brainstorming with you guys. And yeah, going to like, you know, doing maybe just doing a bunch of live stops. Like I know Calgary has a really good live series. Well, really good is a bit of an overstatement. But they have a live series that's probably worth going to. Um, in the summer, EPT Barcelona, maybe WSOP Europe or EPT Prague. Um, there's a bunch of different games to choose from. Maybe there ends up being a series in in Montreal at the Playground Casino um, or, or Niagara in Ontario. You know? There's there's a couple different possibilities that we can go for. You know, there's ACR Stormers too, but that's, the, you know, their, their Triton series stuff that they keep doing. But that's that's different. So I think... This year, I'm probably just going to have to say no to doing this WSOP challenge. Um, maybe come back to it next year. And, and honestly, I don't mind it too much because this gives me just more time to save up more money. Um, for the first time in about two years, I'm in a spot right now where I feel very financially stable. But I wouldn't mind having just a bit more cushion just for peace of mind anyway. So... Um, you know, don't forget, like, like this this goal bar here isn't just, like, cash that's sitting around. It's, you know, it's my bankroll, and it's spending money and all that kind of stuff. So, um, and I think this is off as well, because I, <laughs> I, I don't have 36K. I have, I have less than that lying around. So, um, so yeah, I, th I think I'm going to have to abandon the, to the road to WSOP this year. Maybe maybe do it again next year, and in the meantime, do something different. I'm not really sure what yet. Do I want to do a road to EPT? I don't think so, because it's not an ACR thing. That's a Poker Stars thing. Um, do I want to do a bankroll challenge? Maybe. There's something fun about the idea of turning $2,000 uh, $2, into twenty k For the first time in my career, I feel like that's something that I can do really easily and really quickly. So that could be fun. Um, do I just want to just play poker for a few months and just keep you guys up to date on how my profits are going? I kind of like that idea too, because there's a lot to learn there. Um, and I think you guys will enjoy that content. I, I might not even need to have that kind of a narrative. Um, maybe I can create like this organic narrative based on how I've been developing my poker career over the last 10 months. I'm kind of into the idea of just abandoning the challenge, putting it off for a year. And thinking about going to World Series next year, um, maybe once it seems to be a little bit less clear, it's about it's clear as mud right now. I, I like I'm hearing so many different op differing opinions right now. Um, what's true and what isn't? Patrick's opinion I trust the most because I just I know him really well, and he wouldn't uh, he wouldn't fuck around telling me about this stuff. So. Um, yeah, probably just gonna have to skip out on on the World Series this year. I think. You know what I've been really wanting to do, and I I was trying to do it in March and I failed. Um, I wanted to do. Um, well, hold on, let me quickly show you. I I did write it down in my little notepad here. So I made forty four hundred dollars in in uh, poker. That's after, um, paying my buddy Alex ten percent, and I bought some of his action, and he had a losing month, so. Um, it's probably closer to 5k, basically. And then I made 600 bucks in fight picks. So that's uh, four cards worth of fights at $100 was a unit, but I don't think that was my average bet. I, there was a lot of bets that I made that were like half a unit. I bet you my average bet was probably like 50 bucks. So let's pretend 50 bucks is a, is a unit, up 12, 12 units on the month. That's pretty awesome. So the total came out to 5k minus 800 which is 20 percent of my poker winnings of my gross 
profit poker winnings that gets sent to Brian Fight, aka Beefiz, for being a part of a CFP. So I'm uh I get coaching every single day in this uh, coaching for profit group, and I give twenty percent of my monthly poker earnings to my coach. So the net was uh forty two hundred bucks from poker. So I'll add that to whatever this goal bar is. Kind of up to date, so maybe add a few hundred bucks or something. Um, I'm not going to disclose expenses or um, income from streaming anymore for this challenge. That's what I decided in the last review. Um, just because in, in retrospect, I think this should have been a profit challenge and not a net profit challenge. I think that would have been a lot better and a lot easier and just more rounded out just easier to manage and maintain tougher to you know miscalculate all that kind of stuff so that's something that i've learned from this challenge is to not do like a net profit challenge and to do a gross profit challenge next time around whenever that is um but yeah that's just a quick rundown of how march went so my goal in march was to do a thousand games at ten dollars per game and i believe i did 1300 games at Four dollars per game. Let me let me double check here. Um, so it says here that I made six thousand. Shark scope has been so off this year for me, and I'm not sure why. Um, it's significantly less than that. Yeah, it's it's more like forty eight hundred. It's like twelve hundred bucks off. I would have to like in my on my spreadsheet. I would have to miscalculate so bad to be off by twelve hundred bucks. So Shark Scope is is fucking something up. I'm, I I don't know what it is yet. Um, something's weird. But um, regardless, played thirteen hundred games, which is the most games I've ever played in a month in my entire career. Uh, to only make four dollars per game, which is not. It's fine. It's fine. But not great. Not great. Um, I really like. I think this might be a fun narrative. I really want to have that month of hitting $10 per game at 1,000 games. So let's just take a look at all the sites that I played last month. Solid volume. Yeah, it's probably a little bit unnecessary, but it's cool that I, I did that much anyway. Um, so on WPN, we had a great start. I think I binked the 22.7K twice, right? Yep. First time I took a deal heads up for first place money, and then the second time I just out, I won it outright. Um, and then just went on a swing. Didn't put in a lot, a lot of volume, though, so like a bit of incomplete information. But our average profit was three bucks. Not great. Stars, we killed it. $21, $29 average buy in, $14 average profit. Small, small uh, sample size, 100, 100 um, games, so like it's incomplete. Just probably went on a sun run there. Um, that's right. We went deep in the hot 215 after I misclick registered it. Not a bad tournament to, to misclick register, to be honest, because it's a small field. Um, and then I think the same day, finished second in the hot 27. What else did we win? Fifth in the hot 44. Fourth in the big 22. Second in the big 27. So, yeah, not bad. Uh, we min cash the 215 Sunday million as well. Whoever that is. So I had some caught caches here and there. Chico stopped reporting Shark Scope. Uh, that's true. I don't think that's accounts for the 1200 in losses though, com comparatively. I, I stopped playing Chico after a little bit as well. I'm not sure where that's coming from. Okay, Poker Play Now is a Canadian site. Dipped quite a bit, but. Put in no volume, and some of them were Sunday majors. Like, I played some 109s and, like, a 320. GG. We had a great start. I binked off a $20 hyper that I just played as, a, like, a space filler. And I went, oh, I banked a $20 hyper. I should continue playing these hypers because most of them are small fields, and they're going to have quick average game times by sure virtue of being a hyper. But then we just, like, lost it all back and then some. So that's shitty. I think I'm going to keep playing them. I'm just going to be a little bit more cautious about field size. So like even this one that I won, it was a $20 5K. I'll probably not play those, but there's like some $30 1.5Ks, like 50 player hypers. Those are probably way more worth it 
You know, so I'm going to keep playing GG, but I'm going to keep the, the volume low like I have been. Um, the 150 GG Masters I'll never skip because I think it's just like super, super plus EV. It's a, good, it's, it's a good shot take. You folded your way that deep too, if I remember right. In the 215, in the hot 215, I can't remember. I think I, I think I got like pretty good bounties in that tournament, if I remember correctly. Maybe it's not counting rebuys. Oh, uh, possibly, possibly. Let's see. Maybe it counts re-entries. But yeah, that could that could play a role. That could play a role. It has to be global. That's messing up since five K plus. What do you mean since five K plus? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It, it might be. I don't know where it's messing up, but it's messing up somewhere. Um, party poker did really poorly, which is surprising because I actually do relatively well on party. Um, I don't like kill there. I don't print money there, but I, I, I do okay. So we had a, a bit of a swingy month. I've noticed that there's has been a lot more regs playing on party lately. Um, I think a lot of party, a lot of regs are doing kind of the same thing I am, just finding those small fields. I've noticed that some of the small field games on party they only run if the regs register them first. You know, there's like twenty dollars, seven hundred guarantees, and thirty three one k guarantees and stuff, and they often get canceled and only run if regs pre reg them, uh, myself included. And then I found myself battling, you know, six handed versus five other regs, and that's <laughs> that's not really why I'm doing this low stakes reg, uh, uh, doing this low stakes schedule, right? So I might have to start cutting out some party poker just to avoid. I'm going to just be reg battling the whole time, you know? Not that those regs are, are uh, particularly challenging to play, but it does get in the way of my ROI when my energy can be spent elsewhere where the, the, the money is easier to make, you know? Same thing on Party Ontario, right? Um, how did you do in Saddies? Felt you were winning more than usual? On Global, I am. Yeah, I mean, look, look, look at Global. That's my best performing site. That's where I put my most volume to because I know it's the softest. And um, we didn't quite make $10 a game, but we were pretty damn close. Eight, $8.60. If I could do 1,000 games at $8.60, I'm going to be a happy man. You know? It's a solid graph. It's a solid, solid graph. Um, we can look at how my satellite winnings went as well. Because that's where I played all my satellites was on this site. I think my biggest win on on global was like six hundred bucks. This one right here, eight seventy five, a thirty three three k. Yep, that's my biggest win of the entire month, and yet still came out plus fifty seven hundred. This might be a little bit off as well. I feel like it's a bit less, but you know, it's good to see that the the site I put in the most volume is the one that I'm performing the best in. Let's do year to date all the sites here. So swingy everywhere but global. Global, I'm up 10.5k this year. So not not quite ten dollars a game, seven dollars sixty. So we still got a lot of work to do. My biggest loser is actually uh WPN. Wow. But high average field size. So I imagine a lot of that is uh Sunday majors playing the 109s and the 5500Ks and stuff. Yeah, we're down a lot on, on WPN. That's quite surprising. And not good. <laughs> I don't like seeing that at all. Well, there's, a, there's a lot of work to be done. I mean, you know, variance is a thing. There is that. But uh, so is game selection, right? So is uh, player pools. You know, if you're, if you're not playing against the right player pools, like you're fucking up. What's the average field size on stars this year? 1,100. So, you know, hard to have a consistent graph if your average field size on stars is 11, <laughs> 1,100. Yeah, 600 on, on GG. Like, we're kind of uh, shooting ourselves in the foot a little bit. 438 on WPN. Less excusable to be down 5K on, on ACR, but still a pretty high average field size. You know, it's just kind of crazy to, like, be up so much and doing so well. 30% ROI on, G on uh, global 
but then just like not able to achieve those on other sites and and i think that's a reflection of poor game game selection on my part so that's something that i'll work on in in um in april my friend was talking to me about this too like i was you know he's like you're too hard on yourself and i am i gotta be happy about this like i'm pretty proud so far i mean shit Considering how awful of a month February was, um, I think we can really pick things up in April. So maybe that's the new narrative is like ten dollars a ten dollars a game. I don't know how to make that a more kind of like Twitch oriented narrative compared to like what this is, which is like tangible and something that people can see and root towards. So that's something that we're gonna have to think of before my next stream starts. I think I'm gonna take tomorrow off and come back Wednesday. Um so yeah, we won't be seeing this anymore. I think the WSP challenge is gonna be over. Like I said, though, you know, $12,000 left in the challenge. It would be nice to just still work towards getting that before May 31st. So I, I will definitely do that. Okay, guys, I'm going to call it. I'm going to spend the rest of the evening relaxing. I relaxed like crazy today, and then tomorrow is going to be busy. I'm going to clean this place like crazy and game plan my month. And I got to go uh, get my passport situation sorted first thing in the morning. So if you know if I win this this 100k Triton series, I'm going to Cyprus in May for 10 days or whatever. So I'm going to need to get my passport sorted in time for for me to be able to go to Cyprus. I'm I'm top of the leaderboard right now, but it's still early. So things could change, you never know. So I'm going to definitely be honed in and zoned in for that for that whole series cuz that that could be a game changer, right? We'll see. We'll see. All right, well there's lots to think about. I'm going to I'm going to spend a couple of days thinking about that. If you guys have any uh any ideas that pop up in your head and you want to share them with me, I'm all ears. Just, you know, drop me a DM on Discord or Instagram or Twit uh Twitter or uh you know, if you're in my Discord group, just let me know in the chat there, whatever, on stream. I'm uh I'm all ears. I I I think you know, trying to take the throne of the low stakes king here is 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 not a bad route to go. We'll, we'll see uh we'll see how things develop. Sorry to all those you guys who are rooting for me for the WSOP situation. I'm uh, I'm pretty heartbroken about it. Uh, I, I'm over it now, but I was heartbroken initially when I was thinking about it about six weeks ago. Um, but you know, that's just life. Sometimes things get in the way. It doesn't mean um, we can't like pick this challenge back up again in a year's time and and try it again for WSOP 2024. You know, um, there's plenty of time to to achieve that that dream. But it just sounds like this year, the way things are, it's just not worth the hassle. Um, and there's other things to work towards. Like I said, EPT Barcelona is a fun idea. Um, I'm, I might be actually doing a road trip across Canada with my grandpa. And that would have conflicted with my trip to the World Series anyway. So this kind of works out anyway. Great bonding experience with my grandfather. So I think... I think Despite it being a heartbreaking moment, this will all turn out for the best, and we're still going to shape up to have like a fantastic year. Um, this is the most confident I've felt about my poker career. Even even more confident than the way I felt after I won 100 k back in 2019. So I think 2023 is going to turn out, shape up, shape up to be pretty good for us. It's already turning out pretty well, but I think it'll be even better. So make sure you guys stick around and hit that follow button. Watch me uh, crush some low-stakes souls. I'm looking forward to it. All right, guys. Good night. Best of luck at the tables. Appreciate you. Uh, off tomorrow, and I'll see you guys Wednesday, and we'll get back to the grind then.